In the flight simulation community, there's rarely a name that's mentioned that's more infamous than that of Orbix. They've transformed most of our flight simulation worlds with Orbix Global, but also have created extremely high fidelity regional sceneries, as well as airports from small unpaved private strips to large international hubs. But managing all those purchases has been something that's been a little bit tedious, especially for those of us who are new to the flight simulation community. And that's where FTX Central 3 comes in. Today we'll be taking a look at their new unified installer, as well as add-on manager, that should make owning and using Orbix sceneries a whole lot easier. Let's go ahead and take a look. Okay, so let's start by talking about how is it that you transfer your FlightSim Store account over to the new Orbix Direct Store if you do have any previous FlightSim Store account purchases. First, you'll start by opening and logging into the Orbix Direct Store. Once you get there, you'll see a prompt that allows you to start sharing your account information between the FlightSim Store account that you've set up and the Orbix Direct Store. You'll be asked to enter the email address that you use with your FlightSim Store account. Be sure you go into your FlightSim Store account and verify the email address that you're providing to Orbix. You'll then be notified that there's an email sent, and when you get it, you'll click the link that'll take you over to the data sharing site on the FlightSim Store. From there, you'll just have to acknowledge a disclosure for data sharing, and then when you launch the FTX Central 3 app again, you should see all of your products there now. You'll also get an email showing you all of the purchases that were migrated. After that, you just enjoy and fly. All right. Well, let's start by taking a look at the new FTX Central 3, as well as the new Orbix Direct Store. So let's start with FTX Central 3. As we open it up, we immediately see that it's a unified and beautiful interface that allows pretty intuitive navigation, but still, I'll go ahead and walk you guys through it to show its functionality. First of all, you'll see that there's a couple links here on the left-hand side. One links you directly to the OrbixDirect.com store. You can see your account information, the name and email address that everything is registered to, and then also all the different categories for the terrains that you have. Last, you also see a settings button down here that we'll go ahead and uh, go into in a minute, as well as the current build number. So let's start by looking in the global range. Here you see all the global airports. Europe, all of the European airports as well as the sceneries. North America, all of the North American airports as well as the sceneries. Oceana, which is Australia and New Zealand, and then the aircraft. As you look, you can see here that the aircraft have been grayed out and also have a little shopping cart icon. That means that those have not been purchased nor installed by me. But if you also see there are airports that have just simply not been installed. So let's take a look at what the installation process looks like. First of all, you click on the particular scenery and then you can open up installation options. Here, you can see that there's a couple of options. Number one, I'd like to install manually from a downloaded zip. I already have a backup where I would like to download and install now and create a backup for later. That will basically create a zip for you. However, if you already have a scenery downloaded and zipped, you can still install it and it will show up here in your FTX Central 3. However, unless you install it and buy it directly through Orbix or the FlightSim store, then you will not get updates automatically pushed to your particular product, such as if you had an old CD that has not been migrated yet or something to that effect. So let's go ahead and uh, just do a clean install. So I can go ahead and click install product and that's it. It goes over here into my installation queue. The more items that I add will be queued down here and they'll install automatically as they're ready to go. As you can see, the download speeds are very healthy. Now let's go ahead and look on down here into settings. So here in the settings page, you can select your library insertion point. So wherever it is you'd like to install your OpenLC and your FTX entries, you can do that manually by just clicking on one of these. Also, you have the option to use the Orbix CDN, which is simply the Orbix servers um, that are an alternate to the primary servers that you can uh, download and install from. You can choose to only have products that you have installed or also only show products that you actually have uh, migrated or have purchased through your Orbix Direct account. So if I click on those, you can see all of the um, grayed out options. Let's try it again and hit save, sorry. <laughs> so you can see all the grayed out options now go away. 
All right. Now let's say I wanted to make some adjustments to a scenery that I've actually purchased. So let's look at KEGE Eagle County Regional Airport. If I click on that, it's installed. So I now have a control panel. Here in the control panel, this is similar to what you would have seen before. However, it's just integrated within the tool. So you can change or make any adjustments to your sceneries the way that you'd like. You can also open up the user guide directly from here. And last but not least, which is a huge feature that a lot of people have been looking for, you can uninstall the product if you'd like. So let's take a look at the store. So this is what FTX um, Central 3 store, also known as Orbix Direct, looks like. So first of all, if you look down here, you can see all of the regions are mapped out for you. You also have a link to some of your freeware and demos, and then there's just also some landing page elements. You can also look up the EULA, check the refund policy, the privacy policy, and also connect to Orbix's Facebook. So if we go on up, we can see that uh, we have products, freeware, demos, forum, support, and about up here, along with your account and a logout button. So if we go to the products page, and let's say we wanted to look into aircraft, I can come down here and select the aircraft that I'd like to purchase. Now for a while, I've been wanting to get the Lancer. So let's go ahead and purchase that. So first of all, I'll see all the screenshots for the products here, along with the supported simulators that it's compatible with. I can also see all the key features in the description. So if I'd like to purchase this, I would simply hit add to cart. And then I can choose to either use my credit card or PayPal. So if I did want to use my credit card, I can select credit card, put in my card information, which I'll go ahead and do now, and then select submit payment. Once I do that, you'll see that uh, FTX Central 3 automatically prompts me that I have a new purchase. I also get my transaction ID information and a prompt to download FTX Central 3 if I'd like. So those are the product pages. Under freeware, you also see all of Orbix's freeware. If we go back up, we can once again go to demos for any of the free demos. You can access their forums access support, and also look at About Orbix. All right, so let's go back and look at our new aircraft. So remember that I have selected only to show the products that I have installed. So if I unselect that and then go to Aircraft, I'll now see my new aircraft, and I can go ahead and install it. Remember, we have a queue, so it'll shortly show up here in the queue. It does not happen instantly because first it needs to verify that the purchase has been made, but once it does, it'll show up here as you can see. The one other thing that we'll look at is account. So here on the account page, you can see your account information here on the right hand side. You can choose to update your account, change your password or log out. Also here's where you see all of your purchased Orbix products that you can access. And if you'd like, you can click on info to gain info on any one of them, such as your purchase information, the price paid, etc. So that's a quick walk around of FTX Central 3 along with the new Orbix Direct Store. I hope that it was helpful for you guys to be able to see how you can navigate and access it and enjoy this video. As always, thank you so much and take care.